Hello everyone, this video is about circle equations. Equation of a circle with center A, B, radius R is like this is the formula, is the general formula. This is derived using the distance formula actually. Because a circle means the point is any point on the circle must be the same distance, the radius from the center. So, um, using this formula, notice that the formula is x minus, not plus, it's x minus, y minus, and then we add after we square them, and it's equal to the radius squared. So, be careful with the minus sign here. So, for example, if the center is 0, 0, radius 2, then the formula is x minus 0, y minus 0 squared, and the radius is 2, so 2 squared. If the center is 3, 4, so it's x minus 3, y minus 4. If the center is minus 1, minus 2, minus, minus 1, y minus, minus 2. So it's actually x plus 1, all squared, plus y plus 2, all squared. And here we have uh, 5, minus 6, minus 7, 8, 0, minus 3. And for the radius, for uh, this example here we have 5, so 5 squared, 3 squared, 7 squared, 9 squared, square root of 2 squared. So of course we can still simplify everything, for example for uh, this guy here, in the simplest form, the equation would be x squared, um, x squared, plus y plus 3 all squared equals the square root of 2 squared is simply 2 so this would be in the simplest form and now if we have the equation and we need to find the uh, center well the center is this is actually x minus minus 2 so it's minus 2 and this is this 3, so minus 2, 3, the radius is the square root of 4, which is 2. And for um, this example here, x minus minus 5, so it's actually minus 5, comma. And we have nothing here, we can say it's y minus 0 actually, so minus 5, 0 is the center. And the radius is the square root of 7 actually. Right, so we have to be able to find the radius and the center given the equation, or we can form the equation given the center and the radius. Expanding circle equations is easy because we just have to, you know, do the rainbow thing x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals 5 squared. So x minus 2 all squared means x minus 2 times x minus 2. So we can do x times x, which is x squared. x times minus 2 minus 2x. Minus 2 times x minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 2, that's 4. And we can do the same thing for the y. y times y, y times minus 3, minus 3 times y, minus 3 times minus 3. And we can still simplify minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x. Minus 3y minus 3y is minus 6y. And after we... Um, move the 25 to the left, we get this form of the circle equation. Expanding is easy, but um, factoring is a bit harder because we have to complete the square twice. So from this exactly the same example actually, we can first leave some space, leave some space. So we write the x squared minus 4x, y squared minus 6y, and then leave some space and we move the constant or the minus 12 to the right and then we add something which is something divided by 2 and then squared and that thing we put here is from this minus 4 so we just rewrite the minus 4 over here divided by 2 and then we square it same thing for the y put the minus 6 over here divide by 2 and then square it now of course if we add something on the left side of the equation we have to be fair to both sides of the equation, so we have to add exactly the same thing on the right side. Now on the left, the 
first three terms here are actually a uh, perfect square we can express this in this form x minus 4 over 2 all square so it's from this minus 4 over 2 same thing here y minus 6 over 2 all square and on the right you can just use your calculator here you get 4 here you get 9 and then you can add everything here you get 25 which is equal to 5 squared so this is in the simplest form and in case you want to find the center and the uh, radius from this equation well the center is 2 the 2 3 and the radius is 5 some circle properties you should know circle angle so the angle on the circumference this angle here and this angle here in a semicircle this is a half a circle is always 90 degrees so we have a diameter and we have the angle on the circle here this is called um, the angle of the circle it's 90 degrees because this is a diameter and tangent is perpendicular to radius so if we have this circle and this is a tangent the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius and symmetrical so if we have this kind of circle we have tangent tangent they meet around here this is um, perfectly symmetrical this is a kite actually right and same thing here if we have um, this radius and this line uh, which is like a chord we call this the chord so this chord is perpendicular to the radius all right that's it i'll see you again next time